Yes, there are a whole lot of options for me to play with as well. Yeah, helicopter is just flying figure eight. My radio is down there. My sticks here. There you are, people. Assalamu alaikum, greetings, Ali Shalma here, welcome outdoors. It's time to test the Flywing Huey UH-1 after I have used the suggested settings using the new Flywing Assist program, the newest assist software for H1 Lite or H1 GPS flight controllers. As you have watched in my previous video that I connected the helicopter to that new software. By the way, that software hasn't released yet, wait for it, it's gonna come very very soon. As you have watched in my previous video, I just clicked one button and all the settings change to the suggested settings now it's time to fly it and test and see how it goes now flywing has decided to release this software with all the settings unlocked for h1 light flight controllers and i think this is a big decision and a very good decision from flywing to give us all those options which were locked before for h1 light flight controller and were available for only full h1 gps flight controller now we have access to these options and we are going to feel free to play with them but yes do remember every time you change those options things are gonna change when it comes to the flight performance however you know there's one button which you will click and it will set everything to suggested best setting from flight now before we proceed please uh, subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon and turn on all the notifications and also do remember i'll be playing a little bit more with the settings so stay in this video all the way with me Let's fly and see how the suggested settings from Flywing are gonna work. King off in GPS mode now. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Here we go. <clears throat> try to adjust the mid throttle because you know it's very difficult to have mid throttle here in a TX16S on TX16S but let's see and there are some winds coming from my right as well now with these winds let's turn the tail into the winds bring the helicopter closer to me let me lower the altitude all on so we will have a ground effect almost there there you are people the winds coming from back then there's a ground effect as well but overall helicopter is holding really nice now the sideways let me put the nose in into the wind and slightly higher altitude come on TX16S give me the mid throttle and I'm gonna go stationary hold on come on TX16S There. That's a nice position hold man. So that has improved a bit more. Before it was also very good. A bit more improvement. Now flying forward. I don't feel much difference here except that the responses are slight quicker quicker than before slight difference not much slight difference but let's see the stopping power so I will come straight like this leave the stick 
you see how much angle the helicopter has pulled so push forward and leave the stick yeah look at that the braking force man now it's really stopping very fast yeah the angle it pulls backward it stops really fast okay before as i mentioned in my previous videos that you have to leave the forward motion or whatever motion you're doing earlier because helicopter takes time to stop but now look at that how quick it stops and holds its position really well so there is a quick response to the stick and quick stoppage so braking force is nice so look at that my sticks here Ooh, very close to the ground but the way it's stopping and look how well it's holding its position at one point is definitely is improvement here man so to say the suggested settings are really nice just one click and you get these settings look at that before if I am coming like full stick forward to me uh, let's give this test as well when I'm coming full stick forward to me when I leave the stick I have to move away because helicopter will come all the way here but now it actually stops very fast so the braking force uh, increased in the software and it is affecting in real life really good look at that how quick it stops okay so I'm just gonna see circle mode nice figure eight mode so now it's doing auto figure eight I'm holding the radio right here thumbs up one circle I should turn its head to left and it's going another circle so figure eight is also doing very solid look at that very solid figure eight right here and it's gonna turn head again I'm still holding the radio it's flying all by itself I'm gonna put the radio down yes there are a whole lot of options for me to play with as well yeah helicopter is just flying figure eight my radio is down there so there are a whole lot of options that I can actually configure on the new assist program and I'm gonna play with those the good thing is that if you mess up any settings you have that button that just one click and you will have your settings back immediately to where your helicopter is performing really really well so this is it people the suggested settings from Flywing are working very well and there is a difference in the flight performance and I'm very very happy to see that difference helicopter is behaving better than before especially I like the way helicopter stops really nicely and quickly and holds the GPS position very solid so wait for this software people I'm very very happy that Flyving finally decided to open these options to all of us so we can finally tweak our helicopters and enjoy better performance out of our Flywing RC helicopters.
langsam. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.